You asked for it, guys. Well, yeah, it is. It's my amazing Francis Craig John Fragrance House review. Plus, I'm going to be ranking five of my favorite amazing Francis Craig John fragrances. And I'm going to be having one honorable mention. So if you want to find out what these fragrances are, please stay tuned. Welcome back guys. Today I have a guest with me, Jisala. Hi guys. Nice to always have you here, you know? I know. Great. <laughs> so guys, if you're new to my channel and you like fragrances and enjoy fragrance content just like us, please subscribe to my channel and also feel free to like my video. So this is a fragrance house from France and the, the nose behind the fragrance or the perfumer behind this house is called Francis Kirk John, one of my favorite perfumers my favorite too you know him right of course great he's a master perfumer very creative lots and lots of successful fragrances over the years and including all the fragrances we're going to be talking about today i'm excited guys are you excited of course you i can't wait, wait. You can wait right? <laughs> <I> can. <laughs> great so we're going to be starting with our honorable mention and guys this list we're going to go by my ranking what i like i'm going to start with my honorable mention which is this one gentle fluidity silver this was launched in 2019 guys and it's part of a du dual release so there's a silver uh, silver one and then there's a gold, gold edition one, yeah. one. these i find very creative because the two fragrances with the same exact notes but the two different fragrances entirely so i got a chance to sample both of them in 2019 but for some reason i fell in love with this one what do you think about this fragrance uh, I like this one because it's um, more feminine in my opinion. In your opinion, yeah. I like this one better than the gold one. The gold I, one. I, oh, you sample? I, yeah, I oh, sample the gold one as well, but great. I prefer this one. Great, great, great. Yeah, I find that this one has a little bit of a metallic vibe to it. But yeah, it's just the way it is. I, I enjoy it anyways. So that's Gentle Fluidity Silver. That's our honorable mention, guys. Moving on. So guys, at number five, it's going to be very popular fragrance. Mm. <laughs> this one? Baccarat Rouge 540. That's my number mm -hmm. five. It's coming at number five on this list based on my preference. So guys, this was launched in 2015 and it's an EDP. And this one comes also in the extra version, which is more amped up in the perfume concentration. So you expect lots and lots and big performance with that one. But what do you think about this fragrance? I like this one, but mm -hmm. it's everywhere. Yeah, that's my problem with it, guys. That's... It's popular. I don't want to go somewhere and I'm smelling like everyone else there. Yeah. So I like it. Like, I like the notes, but it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's just everywhere. And, that's and I feel like it. this one has suffered as a result of its own success because, like, it became so popular and everyone, you know, most I people know. like it. And I think this is one of the most popular ones from the house. So. I mean, I, I don't like it and I don't hate it. This is one of those fragrances where I'm on the fence. I mean, sometimes I wear it, sometimes I just... I guess, you know, that's why it's number five on my list. I like it, but I wouldn't wear it. Wow. No, that's Baccarat Rouge 540 at number five. Nope. Moving on. The next one on our list, guys, is Aqua Vitae Forte. This one. Have you heard of this one? Actually, I've not gotten a chance to sample this one. So you can this take a quick be... sniff. You like it? This one is actually really feminine. Yeah, I find that this one uh, leans a little feminine to my taste Whoa. based on my style. And this was launched in 2015. I believe it's considered to be a woody spicy fragrance. And I get uh, mostly florals here. A little bit of spices, but mostly floral woody fragrance I get from this one. And I pick up a very prominent note here. It's called Ylang Ylang, guys naturally based on my taste i don't like that note i find that it's mostly feminine or one note that you know people associate with ladies but i just like this one so much also because mm. it's fresh this is a summer vibe yeah it like... gives that summer vibe and this was my latest uh pickup from the brand i got this one not even up to two months ago guys and i'm loving it and also this one has a flank this is a flanker there's an original one, which is the Aquavitae, the original. Okay. was launched in 2013. 
and it's an EDT while this one is an EDP and I went with this one because of the performance it's a big big this is really performer. good yeah. like it's so good would you wear this one of course I'll wear this one it's so good I love it so yeah I, I find this one is 60% feminine and 40% masculine so if you're a guy you want to wear this one you have to be comfortable wearing floral fragrances moving I on I recommend for a guy though you won't like you won't like this no. one a guy if you think it's too feminine? I think it's too feminine. I wouldn't recommend for a guy. Well, on this channel, I always try to preach no gender <laughs> with fragrances. So wear whatever you want. I don't see any gender with fragrances. Moving on. Yay. Okay. <laughs> so guys, coming at number three is Oud Satin Mood by Mason Francis Craig John. Great scent. What do you think? This smell this smells like like roses mm -hmm. and petals. Yeah, this this has yeah. rose in it and uh, I believe it's a rose and oud combo. This is actually my first time mm -hmm. sampling this one. This one. And I think this would top my list cuz I really like it. Wow, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do. Well, let's see. Let's yeah. See today. I also find out I find guys that this one leans a little feminine. Do you see that? Uh I find that it's feminine to Just me. Just because of the rose. Yeah, the rose. The and there's some sweetness there. Do you, do you pick up any of sweetness? Of course, yeah, I do. Yeah, so I guess maybe that's why I I really don't... I like it, but it's not up there for me. I mean, it's in my oh, top yeah. three anyways, right? But yeah, this one was launched in 2015. And it's an EDP. There's also an extra de parfum, which means higher concentration. I believe okay. some of them have extras, which means the highest perfume. Um, the highest concentration of perfume oil so it will last long on your skin on your clothes wherever you decide to wear your fragrances also guys this one is part of the oud collection so there's five of them this is satin mood there's silk mood there's velvet mood there's cashmere mood and i believe there's oud itself and they all have extra versions so really really amped up concentration of perfume oils I mean, I like this one, but it's coming at number three for me. Uh-huh. We'll see. <laughs> so coming at number two, guys, is Grand Soir. You're going to love this one. I love Grand Soir. Oh, yes. you, yeah. You like, you like Grand Soir. I've used it so many times, and I always get compliments whenever I use this. You know, there's something about Grand Soir. It lasts so long. Mm -hmm. And, like, this turns head. Like, wherever yeah. I go, yeah, it does. I love Grand Soir. Yeah. I love it. This is my number one. Like... Period. Really? Already? <laughs> this is my number one. Wow. Yeah. So guys, Grand Soir was launched in 2016 and it's an amber fragrance. Of course. Some people don't see the amber in this one, but I can pick up some amber definitely. Do you pick up any notes? Vanilla? Mm, this yeah. is really sweet. It smells sweet. really sweet. And yeah. I also pick up the vanilla. Vanilla, yeah. Vanilla. There's vanilla in this one and there's benzoin. So yeah, it's a sweet fragrance. But then I have a very interesting story about this one. I got this fragrance. No, I sampled it first late in 2019, but I just didn't like it. Mm. it took me about a year before I started to appreciate this one. I love this on my first try. Wow. So it was love at first sniff for you. Period. Wow. <laughs> Great. Period. Great. I think this is totally unisex too. Of course it is. A guy can wear this one. Yeah. A lady can wear this one too, right? Yep. Wow. Guys, have you heard of Grand Soir? I'm sure you guys like it. Well, it's number two on my list based on my ranking. Okay. Are you ready for number one? Number one. Drum rolls. That's not my number one, but... <laughs> but it's my number one. Okay. It's my list. This is my <laughs> ranking. I'm sure I'm breaking a lot of hearts right now because like some people well. rate some of the other fragrances higher on the list. And I'm here rating yeah, them. Yeah, let's see in the comments, like which one's your fave. Yeah, let's let us know below. below what you think about yeah. these fragrances. How would you rank them? And my number one Maison Francis Kirkland fragrance <laughs> is Oud Silk Mood. Hmm. This is my favorite. What do you think? Not for me. Wow. <laughs> Not for me. Not for me. So what don't you like about this one? I don't know. <laughs> I, I just Just not like your taste. It. Nope. But there's rose in this one too. Just like there was rose in uh, Oud Satin Mood. This is just not my thing, guys. Wow. I just don't like this. Wow. So, guys, this is my number one MFK fragrance. And it's because of the oud and the rose here. 
I'm, I, I don't know. I, don't, I wonder why she doesn't like this one. Uh, it's so intense. Okay. Like the satin mood is a little bit like softer. Yeah. But this one is it's just too strong. It's sweeter and it's a different fragrance entirely. But also, guys, this is an extra de parfum, so maybe that's why you find this to be intense or maybe because you've had it as your number one <laughs> maybe <laughs> I mean, that's not my number one guys yeah i i love this fragrance so much and i guess it's because of the other note called the the papyrus note he, in here yeah. it gives this one this papery vibe and it gives it a very dry vibe it's feeling it's yeah it has dry. this dry vibe but that's what i like about this one and i find that it has a classic touch to it too perfect rose and wood combo fragrance for me and my number one Maison Francis Kirkjian fragrance. Wood Silk Mood at number one for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, thank you for watching so far. So at this point, she's going to rank these fragrances based on her preference. She's going to rank them on a scale of one to six. Six being her favorite one. Oh, sorry. Six being her least, least favorite, favorite one, one. And one being her favorite, favorite one. one. I'm excited to hear what she thinks about these fragrances. Let's go. Okay, guys. Starting at number, number six. six. <laughs> of course. Nope. Oud like Silk Mood, one. guys. No, 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 number no, no, no. six for her. She doesn't like it. It's going to be number Not six me. for her. Wow. And then feel, number five bad. is Baccarat Rouge. I love this, but then it's everywhere. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't wear this. And that's why you don't like it, because it's very popular. Nope. Yeah. I, want that one. I can see that for sure. I have that problem too with the fragrance. I feel it's a victim of its own success. It's, it was a very successful fragrance. And it's been copied a lot too. There's like 10 different fragrances that smell or that have the same DNA. So moving on, number four, right? Number four is Oud Satin Mood. Oud Satin Mood, number four. What? I thought you liked Oud? this one. I like it, but like this. Other ones that you, you course, rate higher yeah, than this one. Than Great. This one. I like it, but guys, this is my number four. Oud Satin Mood. So that's Oud Satin Mood coming number at number four, four for her. Three. Yeah, number three. Drum roll, gentle fluidity. Wow. It's too calm. You find this is too calm? Yeah. Or you mean, I think it's too fresh. Wait, it fresh, has a very fresh. 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 It has fresh a fresh and a, a tonic vibe to it too that I like very much. But I'm surprised. I mean, you're really breaking my heart right no, now. No, it's because it's six, so I have to like rank it. High Definitely, it's your list. You do whatever you want. I'm just surprised. I'm sure some of you guys will be surprised by what she's her choices. <laughs> so moving on, number two. Number two, which I just smelled today. Mm -hmm. The Aqua Vitae Forte. Yeah, Aqua Vitae Forte. This is... is so great, guys. Like, if you haven't tried this, I just tried it today, and I mean, it's number two already. So wow. So what exactly do you like about this one? This is really good. Like it's a summery spring vibe. I would definitely wear this this summer. Mm -hmm. And it has this floral vibe as well. And it's spicy. Yeah, I think there's some spices it's in spicy, this one. Yeah. It's a woody spicy fragrance. And it has some woody backbone too. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess why you like it is because it's kind of feminine. I mean, Maybe. It's, it's a little flo too floral. Guys, yeah. Coming up at number one is... Grand Soir. Grand Soir. Period. <laughs> like, this fragrance is bad and bougie, guys. Like, I wore this out to a wedding and everyone was like, this wow. turn said, mm -hmm. to be honest, like, everyone was like, ooh, you smell nice, girl. And I'm like... And it was a love at first day for you. Of course, yes, it was. And this is Ambery. It has this vanilla scent to it. Yeah, and, it's um, sweet. It's a sweet it's fragrance. It's really sweet. It's a sweet fragrance. I would totally wear this any day. Summer, winter, yeah. spring, fall. You guys, how about how about how about guys. do you think this is unisex? Do you think it a is, guy it's can unisex, it? yeah. yes, it's unisex, it is. Well, I love it. guys, That's there you have it. One. That's her number one MFK fragrance, Grand Soir. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for sticking to the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, guys, if you are new to this channel and you like fragrances and fragrance content like us don't forget to like share subscribe and also let us know what you feel in the comment section down below so once again guys you can follow me on twitter and instagram my handles are here and here thank you for coming to my channel thank you for having me yeah it's always nice to have you it was nice no. was, i had so much fun doing this guys you guys watch out for me you'll be seeing my face like yeah she's gonna be on the channel more often and then 
we have lots of things coming for you guys so guys i'll see you in my next video and until then we're gonna keep it moving see you next time bye bye, bye guys